Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Mashup. Today we're going to review the Enemies Pack by Drunken Dragons. It's made in China, like all affordable miniatures. And uh, this re retails for $29.74. It's a pack of 25 miniatures, which makes them a little over a dollar a piece, which is a pretty great price for something 28 millimeter scale. Now you get five of five different types of monsters. You get archers, cultists, goblins, kobolds, and orcs. The orcs are uh, quite possibly the best miniature in here they could be bugbears they could be a uh, half orc half ogres they're that much bigger and they've got kind of a unique look kind of an ogrey look to them the goblins have uh, a lot of mold line here all of these miniatures do have some some mold line that needs to be cleaned up so they do require some preparation the cultists have an issue with their staff where it is sort of bent and noodly and i don't know how to fix it I tried running them under hot water and then freezing them up again they went right back to their sort of noodly shape i don't know how to straighten them up if someone knows how please leave a comment uh, same goes for some of these archers' bows. They're a little out of shape as well. In general, there's a, there's a passable level of detail on these miniatures. I don't think anyone's going to mistake them for Games Workshop or Reaper, uh, particularly in the faces. They're a little bit low detail. And you can see this work's quite a bit bigger than this 40k orc here. Uh, so he's, he's more like uh, an orc knob in uh, 40k terms. Goblin's got a lot of charm. I love this little hat. He's very sort of pirate looking, but you see he stands... Uh, more than a head taller than a Games Workshop Goblin. In fact, he's almost the size of one of the human archers that are put in this uh, set with him. He's really proportioned like a human, and that goes for the kobold as well. And you can see the kobold's hand, another flaw in the uh, sculpts, is that his hand just sort of disappears into this shield. That's not the end of the world. It's a pretty minor cheat. Also, this archer's hand that's pulling back the string doesn't really have any fingers on it. There's a few places where the details kind of get flubbed. Uh, you can see she stands quite a bit taller than this Brentonian archer, making her a little bit out of scale. This female cultist stands a full head taller than this fighting knight in a helmet. Uh, so she is just a little bit big. But in general, the sculpts are quite pleasing. For that price range, they're quite nice. Flock sticks to them fine. They do require some cleaning uh, to get the mold release agent off. I put used a little detergent, warm water, and an old toothbrush. But I uh, flocked them with some PVA glue and some craft sand, took them outside to uh, prime them and they hold paint quite nicely when they're all painted up they look pretty good overall i think this is a good thing for dms to get if you're starting out and you're looking for affordable miniatures you know for a generic fantasy campaign this will get you started and it gets the miniature mashup seal of approval thanks everyone for watching we'll uh, have another video for you soon faithful viewer if you've liked this cartoon please like and subscribe to the channel consider visiting us on facebook or making a donation to my gofundme campaign the links for both of those are in the description below as always thanks for watching